Can't do that. Gotta cancel out. Hmm. Yeah, he's blind. Thank you. 
so putting in the outlines here um, over some some screenshots that I managed to grab which is uh, kind of it's a good way to get started in modeling something where you really don't have much in the way of reference pictures This is going to be a doozy, but we'll get there. Actually, I'm going to do it as a separate object. Yep. These are different sizes after all, so that actually makes sense to make a separate object. the sketch anymore. Let's see what's going on here. Circle. this loop.
Something's not connecting here correctly. And I'm not sure what. Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to keep plugging along, sketching it out. Stuck in the hollow section. But Work on the trigger. So I probably want a spline. This nice rounded edge. Switch back. Basically, okay, so revert to scratch. So I'm not happy with this so far. Okay, cool. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in outside in or inside out. Circle bits in. Yeah. Alright. It's a good starting point. So you got these sections that are raised up, but then so it's really like three layers. You got the grip that's kind of based in there. And you got the, the receiver and all of that, and then this section almost looks like it's lower than the receiver. So this is the highest point. So that's going to be the thickest part. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out it in sections. So let's do the thickest area. Come on. Okay. That's rounded enough that I probably want to put a spline in. Alright. Let's see. Alright. That's in. Don't need another spline. There we go. Better. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a hard angle, so I'll go back to the lines. This is rounded. I need to put another spline. Hey suit up, how's it going? Thank you for the congratulations. It was uh, quite the surprise.
Uh, I don't know about setting the bar high. I just keep trying to mud along. So, just going wherever the craziness takes me, I guess, in this wild adventure. But uh, just doing some light 3D modeling, a couple knocking out a couple commissions. Mostly uh, all good over, all fun Overwatch gear. Let's see. A lot of details though. Ah, uh, well. Thank you for um, for hanging along with this crazy adventure. Appreciate it. Let's see. So this is where it gets interesting. So I think I've mapped out all the high portions of the pistol. I just got to close it up. Go around. I have no idea how where this is in relation. It just looks like sort of a, like a groove. I'm just gonna keep going. It's all very confusing. This reference phone. Unfortunately, there aren't many more shots. The uh, the skin viewer in Overwatch, which is where I pulled this from, doesn't allow you to manipulate in really anywhere except your uh, your X and Y axes. Like I can't manipulate on Z, so it's kind of like eh. Um. Nah, the details actually don't physically give the printer an issue. It's giving me the uh, the designer fits trying to figure out and interpret. Is it high? Is it low? Because there is it really isn't much to go on in the reference picks. So, like the circly bit probably will protrude out the most, but maybe by like a millimeter or two. Then this is the next like high area, and then it just kind of gets closed in. So, I'm gonna do this in half since this is actually a relatively small thing, and I can probably you know chuck this on one of the bigger printers and go wild. This is all right. So this is jutting out. So I'm gonna give this a little more definition, as well as this put in um, this groove. So add lines. zero degrees. It doesn't help that this thing's kind of slightly it's like off kilter so I kind of have to just interpret and roughly put down lines and then make adjustments as as I see them. So it's not going to be perfectly accurate but it'll be pretty damn close at the end of the day. So this is, yep, that's all nice and closed. Cool. Okay. So right now my favorite is um, the software I have open. Uh, it's Fu it's called Fusion 360. Um, it's made by, I believe, Autodesk. And it's actually, f technically it's not free. Um, but if you're a student or a quote-unquote small business earning less than 100000 a year, they'll give you free um, year, yearly licenses that you can just continually renew. So I've pretty much switched from um, my previous favorite software, which was Blender, um, to Fusion, which is just, I'm able to knock out stuff much, much faster than I ever was in Blender. So like T60 and um, Reaper and let's see what else did I do on Blender. Oh, uh, chunks of Genji just took forever you know, to get right and it's just it's a tough learning curve and you gotta know your hotkeys and all that fun stuff so these days my recommend recommended go to fusion nope I wanted to keep that spline okay mm, yeah I connect you to there time hit the check mark yeah. 
kind of like how that curves. Okay. So then I need to just go and get these under lips here. So yeah, compared, compared to everything else I've tried, as someone who has no formal background or education in 3D modeling, Fusion has been the easiest for me to just pick up and just go. Um, so yeah, let's see, I should probably get in these uh, zero spaces here and get the trigger all sketched out. Um, hmm. Stick this in here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So yeah, just trying out live streaming um, the the modeling process of a lot of the models I'm just going to be pushing out in the next couple of weeks. See if people uh, are interested in following along. I'm also going to be sticking these up on YouTube. So so. If it's of any use. So, all right, so I got the spline down. Get this curve. It's a trigger happy. Ah, that actually. Is, I just need a. Yeah, kind of. No, that's just all kinds of weird. All right, that's a dark curve. Oops, there we go. So, more linear angles. There we go. And that should do the trigger. Yep. Now let's get this inner grip sketched out. Let's see, so that goes there. And the curves around like this. So I'm gonna switch from line to spline. Let's get that in there. Ooh, that's a problem. I'm so used to Blender still, where I can just kind of hit uh, Escape and then and then switch out of the, uh, the tool. Except that sometimes interrupts whatever I'm putting down if I've not committed it. Uh, uh, yeah, sometimes can't make all the streams. I haven't. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, Plus, I can do fun things like actually add more commentary on top. Like I just did um, earlier, I just recorded. I didn't have a chance to stream um, doing uh, young, yeah, it's young Genji's um, Shuriken. So I'm going to probably add a little bit of commentary on what I did there, um, as well as put up a version for Facebook that kind of sped up time lapse. So let's see. All right, so I got that laid down. So this is nice, hard angles. That looks like that. That looks like a bit of background since if you zoom out, well, you got Kings Row in the background. <laughs> so. Let's see. Yep. That's all nicely carved out. That's there, and then integrate, perfect. And this makes it a lot easier when you're adding the um, the fillets and the chamfering like you have here. Um, having everything all nice and split up. So this one I'm gonna do, yeah. Can't tell, it looks like there's some rib texturing, so I might have to add that later. Now, Boom. All right, cool. So that's 
much, much lower than this area. I'd say probably a millimeter or two. Clarissa! Oh yeah, totally suit up. Um, and if you have any suggestions or ideas of things that would help you even more, just um, let me know and I'll see if I can make them happen. All right? Because um, I'm always kind of looking to improve and see how I can kind of give back and help the community, so to speak. Because uh, I feel like everything just here is just completely wide open. So yeah, Clarissa, not exactly Overwatch as in gaming, but I figured I'd do some live streaming for, for giggles. Do some modeling. And... Don't worry, I'm still resting and relaxing. This isn't nearly as strenuous as uh, what I was doing before. Yeah, I'm still a bit ah, sore in the shoulders after uh, C2E2, which was absolutely lit, absolutely brilliant, but um, 95 pounds of T60, um, on your on your back and your shoulders is going to wear you down and like basically lots and lots of soreness so just kind of working to get the lactic acid out of me so let's see what am i doing okay so i'm going probably want to put in a spline here just like that Yeah, gotta approximate, but it works. Yeah, trooper is one way to put it. Um, I'm just moderately crazy. So. Hey, Crimson, how's it going? BCAs. What's BCAs again? Not familiar with that one actually. Yeah, I'm just kind of crazy for making it that heavy. But the good news is I actually revised the T60 files. So I was able to shave off like 40 pounds off of that. So Given that I damaged like um, a quarter of it, nearly falling down on on the stage at C2E2, um, I'm decommissioning a bunch of stuff and going to reprint it. So, really hoping that works out and um, it gets to be a little bit easier to wear for some, another time, like say Dragon Con. So let's see. All right, so I'm just putting this in, not necessarily because this. This looks like the same level, but uh, it'll be easier to put in the details of the uh, the fillets between, well, lines. So, all right. Blech. Ah, I crud. Um, mm -hmm. Hmm, weird. You're not connecting? No, you're connected. Oh, BCAs. Okay, I think, I, yeah, I've taken similar stuff. Yeah, um, it took me, it took six people. So what basically what happened, I'm not sure if you can see it on the little it'd be webcam picture, but it was a very, very steep ramp that they had leading up to the stage. And then right at the end of it, there was about a six inch step, which um, given that I'm in like 20 pound stilt boots and then the leg armor all connected getting it up there was quite the chore so yeah six people were kind of supporting me and helping me kind of just slowly amble up but then i lost my balance twice where i first went forward and then back and <laughs> it was quite the adventure um yeah let's see what do i want to do for this i think circle like little circles. That'll make it easier to kind of get that 
detail point in. Yeah. But, um, yeah, all in all, I lived. And, uh, I didn't fall on a live Twitch stream. So, there's that. I should have probably noted what is the dimensions. Ah, crap. Alright, let me try this again. This time, note the dimensions. Silly Yasu. Uh, let's just do one mil near. Make it nice and easy. One millimeter. Can I actually uh, copy paste these? See the. No. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay, that makes it easier. Stick that like there. Okay, and let's paste another one. Love it when I can copy paste stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm okay too. Um, yeah, I have no idea what what happened if I fell over in it. So I'm definitely revisiting and adding some more things to the um, the stilts and the legs to give me. A substantial, substantially greater amount of um, stability, which um, I guess when you're stilt walking really does matter. Uh, yeah. Well, actually, let's see. Can I get this to snap? No, it's not snapping. Bama. Bama, bama. All right. Copy and paste. These aren't quite lining up, or they're not linear. So I can actually fit an L there. I most of the time I have to kind of slide in um, by the side. Like I can't just walk straight in because I like my shoulders are super broad. But um, yeah. I can fit in most elevators, which helps a ton. Let's see. This is actually a really detailed model. Alright, see you suit up. See you at the next stream. So then, I just connect these guys with lines. Okay, line in there. Let's see what happened here. Let's connect. Okay. Yeah, Dragon Con. Hopefully, I can get the uh, the new recommissioned parts in, um, or or replace the parts I'm decommissioning and just rebuild everything. Um, but yeah, I can't imagine like I'm gonna eat up an entire Elder Dragon Con if I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, um, there's some rumblings I may reprint the entire ar armor and TPU, which would be like one third of the weight. So, yeah. One third weight would actually make it almost doable for me to be able to, to be self-sufficient. Like I went, like I'd need a little bit of help getting in and out of the armor, but um, not to the level of needing like two, almost two handlers to um, really just to survive.
All right, so got that detail in. Wow, this is going to be intricate. Yeah, two. Hey, there you are, Crimson. Yeah, no, um, it was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm just super grateful. I had like really awesome folks kind of looking after me and helping me when I sometimes didn't realize the dangers I was in. But yeah, you're staying at the Marriott, right, Clarissa? Alright, so we got these details in. Alright, so let's do this, uh, the site, and I'm not going to put in the barrel just yet. Um, yes, the Marriott, going to love it. Sometimes it kind of, the 3D modeling programs, it's trying to like synchronize and snap it to other lines to ensure it's parallel, but sometimes that's not really what I want it to do, so gotta fight the program. Alright, so I'm gonna stick that there. Definitely, definitely. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know what room numbers and all that, so. I'm like really hoping to either get like something on like the first four floors of the Marriott or within one or two floors above or below the Sky Lobby. Um, those are like my favorite go-to's. Um, so yeah. Of course I gotta figure out how to actually just get T60 and everything else I want to haul down to Dragon Con. So <laughs> that will be... Um, the challenge okay you're checking in on Wednesday I'm checking on actually Thursday um, I'm gonna probably stay be staying somewhere outside of Atlanta I'm thinking by the airport on Thursday sorry Wednesday night yeah dang um, you have the blip, 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 school right med school I think that's But yeah, no, totally crimson. I'd love to meet up. So yes, yes, all the yes. Um, okay, so these these zero spaces again. So let me stick those, carve those out. A little bit filter. Okay, that's better. Right on. Anatomy or psychology. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, right on. But yeah, Labor Day weekend just. Oof, it's it's a tough, it's a tough um, for a lot of people's schedules. So. I don't blame you. Alright, so let's take that one there. Okay. So that's there. Still feels a little bit off. I can make adjustments later. Hmm. Oh, physiology. Yep. But still, that's awesome. Physiology is awesome. The modeling? Yeah, it's a bit tedious. But, um, 3D printing, you know. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so these look kind of bubbly. I just gotta figure it out. So I'm gonna just probably stick in. Mm. 
Yeah, this is the tease part, kind of initially getting everything kind of sketched out, and then when I start extruding stuff, um, then it gets more fun and interesting. I'm gonna do two millimeters. And then I copy and paste. And the fun part is constantly, like right now, I'm just kind of in a sort of 2D mode, but then gets interesting when I have to go in three dimensions. I'll show you in a second. So I can go and kind of oops, click drag and like, ooh, it just gets trippy. Um, one of the reasons why I'm just loving this, this particular software now over what I was using. in there. I kind of want to just stick in this line here, but I can probably just do it on the surface. Uh, do I need a barrel shot? Um, I got a couple of them kind of at an angle, so I kind of have an idea of how thick it is, just in my head, so I appreciate the, uh, the offer, but I think I'm pretty good. Drunk and 3D printing, yes. I'd need to dig out the sake for it, but uh, <laughs> that could that could be awesome. Um, let's see. Yeah, no, no hurries though, Clarissa. Uh, okay, so. Double check. Okay, so this is all in. That's all in. So it's just these ribby bits on the top that need to go. Lead box. Oh yes, I do know how thick it is. <laughs> but um. Tsh. Well, Clarissa, may all your your loot boxes be legendaries. What am I doing here? Yep. Okay, that's weird. see where my line is anymore and I'm not sure why I've been dealing with this bug for a little while so, hmm. have you been getting some good legendaries hopefully from the uh, the boxes that's gonna select the whole thing dang I guess I'm doing this time. Only Mercy skin. Well, that's actually not too bad. A really nice skin, and I'm that's one of the things on the list to 3D model is the staff and the uh, all the fiddly bits and the pistol, and well, everything the wings, too. Maybe, uh, blah, 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 blah. of course, I got a certain uh, 
a Russian's uh, gravity rifle to uh, the 3D model. Wink, mm. wink, nudge, nudge. Right on. He'd be an awesome Mercy. And I would run around and basically in Janji and demand healing all day long and, de and annoy the, the heck out of you. Let's see if I stop sketch. Yeah, I can correct all these. Yes. Oh, I need healing. Uh, let's see, I should probably move that in. Yes, we should do it sometime. Granted, there's got to be some uh, Genji voice lines to annoy Zarya as well, so I just got to find them. Hmm. even. I'll have to go ahead and probably clean them up a bit later with a measurement tool, but I'm perfectly good with that. Alright, these guys are good. I think it's time to start extruding. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So All right, what do I want to extrude? Um probably not that hard. It'd just be a matter of um Tuning the uh, the modulation. So it's it's all it is 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 it's mo lights very light amount of modulation over um, the voice, and then the rest of it's a Japanese accent, which um, I kind of can fake. I, I'd have to brush up a bit more on it. Like I end up, my Japanese problem is my Japanese accent ends up sounding more like Hanzo than uh, Genji, so. There's that too. So, all right, hang on a second. I need a set of calipers to just kind of measure. So let's see, probably the whole thing's going to be about like 50, 55 millimeters wide, so I think that's going to be, yes, a hidden speaker. Uh, 
And given how many like hollow sections in Genji's armor there is, um, probably wouldn't be that hard to um, to hide it. Probably like in the chest plate or the back plates. Awesome, that is perfect. Yeah, okay, I got a pretty good idea of the scaling now. So that is definitely thicker than the grip. Okay, I got this. Yep. So, probably want to deselect that. And start extruding this section. Yay! We got 3D shapes coming up. Yeah, okay, that's about right. So I'm going to say 5 millimeters. Yeah, 5 millimeters. Now granted, this isn't quite scaled, so I, I got to do it in ratio to, well, the rest of it. This is going to be slightly smaller. And let me select. Oops. There we go. There we go. And then each of these. What? What's going on here? Ah, I see what's going on. I scroll around it just doesn't want to cooperate there we go yeah this can be tedious I definitely agree with you with you crimson her turnarounds turnarounds So let's extrude four millimeters. And this, let's take a look again. Oh, full by turns? Uh, no, I actually have those, um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to do much more of like tracers bits as like the chron the, the the chest piece is just, oof, that'd be a doozy to mile, and someone would have to pay me, pay me really good money to, um, to mile that. I think that's why nobody else has like touched those for 3D printing. Which now that sounds like a challenge to myself, and I'll probably convince myself that I should read model it for the lulls, but <laughs> yep. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I bet it is. Alright, so let's extrude this. But this one's gonna be interesting because then I gotta cut away. Alright, so I'm not. Now let's take a look for a second. Um. Huh. Okay, so it's the same level as the thinner parts. Okay, that's easy. Yes, I would. I'd be fabulous. Alright. So good. Actually, no, I want that as a new body. And let's push pull. Boom. There we go. So we just cut away a section like that. Oh, what happened to these guys here? 
No. Hmm. Let's see what happened to these circly bits. Alright, so it's the top one and those bottom two. Yes, 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 totally sparkly. Alright, so I'm missing one on the bottom. Now, technically, I should have actually made these new separate objects, but I'm not a smart man, so I'm gonna have to clean that up later. No begging. Alright, so this should stick out. Probably to this level, but I'm going to make it a new body. Pistol grip. Probably it's gonna be what three millimeters, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. That, that's way too thick. Oh yeah, that's way too thick. See, this gets more interesting than just doing flat surfaces. Alright, so I'm going to extrude those two up. New body. I'm going to extrude this guy up. Body and match it at three millimeters. All right. Well, catch you later, Clarissa. I really appreciate you taking the stills. So, blip, 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 blip. And yeah, catch you, catch you soon. Either offline or next stream. Whatevs. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> 3D print use confusion. It was effective. Please don't run away. Alright, let's see. I think in 2.5. This is now all kind of just subtle. Ah, I didn't want to join it, but all right, fine. All right, nope, not join. I learned from my lesson. New body. There we go. And trigger. Triggers are pretty thin. Ah, uh, listening more than watching. 
No, I meant uh, don't run away. Uh, the, the, you, you did a Pokemon reference, so I returned with another Pokemon reference. Body there. Okay, I like how this is coming out so far. Ah, no. Let's see what I did. Um, too much. There we go. Okay. Ah, that's true. Twitch doesn't have gifts. Well, we'll save those for Facebook then. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna re extrude these guys. Okay. All right, blip, blip, blip. Let's try extruding again. And this time I'm going to create a new body. Okay. Not going to cut. New body. There we go. We should save this. I feel like that's a good idea. Uh, uprising, same tracer, pistols. Ooh, that's interesting. There's a piece down there. Probably should be extruded. at a point where I can just start adding details. Shown up like it's cannot, nothing's connected. Let's see. Oh, I see what happened here. connected. Okay, um, blip, 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 blip. Let 
try that. Okay, new body. Way too much. Alright. Yeah, it's four more minutes. Let's go. Hmm. Goodbye. Alrighty, so this is actually a pretty good start. Now let's start slowly adding the, um, the details. So let's try adding some fillets. Excuse me, I mean chamfering. Yep, exactly. And then I start um, doing what's called fillet and chamfering, which is basically adding either rounded edges or angular edges. So, except it doesn't seem, oh, that's extrude. That's my problem. Yes, it definitely is um, very pleasant to OCD people. Um, I'm not sure why it's not splitting. So let me go and play with this for a second. Um, let me take this edge here. Okay, so this top and bottom, okay. Just trying to find an edge that I can do an experiment on. Okay, so this is much shorter. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's what I'm going to experiment with. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. These two chamfer in, I think, by a quarter of a millimeter. It's kind of maybe half. Yeah. Yeah, 
that's a much smaller edge compared to these guys here. And this, of course, gotcha. This in a millimeter. Perfect. Right, it's fillet. Five millimeters, and then do the same thing to give it some detail. Um, point two five is good. So point five and point two five. Can, uh, it can go wild. Um, point two five. Sweet. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Ah. Now it's slowly starting to resemble what I'm trying, the reference pictures. So, damn it, there's no hotkey for chamfering, so. I think I only need a half. Yeah, half. for these guys too. And something like this gets a bit more, I'm thinking a full millimeter. Yeah, that's better. That might have been my problem, was I was only doing them one at a time, when I really need to do them all, so let's try chamfering. Ah. Yep, yeah, five. That might even be too deep. Okay, I see what happened here. Some of the outer edges got done, and some of the inner edges got done, but none of them were consistent, which is why it looks all weird. Okay. Now it's consistent. Voila! Okay, cool. Lost it. Hmm. I feel like 
let's take a look at the rifles picture again. That's a very, this is much angled and then this is very sharp and crisp. Yes, let's do that. Cool. Uh, yep, this is a, uh, a commission. Um, yeah, for now, I'm kind of just taking a rest and a breather from my own since I pretty much kind of burnt myself out doing just working eight straight weeks. Um, so I'm just kind of aimlessly doing other stuff, little paid work here and there, and um find something that inspires me thinking something game of thrones -y, like i'm kind of wanting to do lannister armor but um that one actually would keep the 3d printing to a minimum i just do like by hand like lever work you know kind of keep keep to it i think the only thing i do would be like the shoulder pauldrons where um um i'm getting distracted um to do the lions i'd print those but everything else, like, I do it old school. L listen to me hearing, talking about old school. Like, 3D printing's only been around for a short while. Uh, blah, blah. All right, let's try this. So this is going to be a very sharp angle. Uh, the hand? Oh, uh, you're thinking La uh, Jamie Lannister. No, I'm just going to do, um, like, the, the commander armor, like what Tywin was wearing. Or, yeah, what Taiwan War was that in season three, I want to say? But yeah, the, if I did the Jamie route, the hand would be an interesting challenge. But yeah, no, the, the big red sash across the front, yeah, that crazy armor. I'm going to switch over and do a 25 degree, ooh, not 400 foot, 25 degree angle. So this should be a gentler. Should be able to go a little far, ooh, not that far. So let's go 15 degrees. Yes, yes. Well, for Dragon Con, that I can literally go down one L there and just run into people, and everybody's like so friendly. So, but yeah, I totally agree. I could use a couple good drinks. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm liking how the angles are shaping up so far. Not delay. No, it just deselected me. Oops. Yep, there we go. Don't want to select the points. I have no idea what it does, and I'd rather not find out, I guess. I'm thinking. Ooh, can't do that. Let's 
chamfering two five. Huh? Huh. I have no idea what's going on on these guys. So let's see. Ah. I wonder if I should do these all at once. I'm tempted to do them all at once. body as opposed to merged. Oh, I think I did. Oh, that's a faux pas. Hmm. I might have to just cut and start again. Not a huge deal, but it's a bit annoying. Well, let me see how bad the damage is. So I want to for this. Yeah, I see what happened. Okay. Bunch of stuff I gotta redo. So let's try chamfering. Actually, that doesn't look half bad. Except I'm probably going to want to do it all at once. Hmm. So the inner, inner edges here are all rounded. Which you probably want to do now before I add the, um, the final detailing. still go. Okay. I'll work with that. And I got this piece here. So also should be fine. Hmm. Variable radius? Oh. Oh. I see. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do cord length. Hmm. Yeah, I like how that went. Okay, that works. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Alright, so these I'm gonna fix real quick. Thanks, Jude. Just gonna cut it all away. That made that disappear. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna extrude again. And this time create a new body. New body. Cool. I gotta do the same thing. <laughs> indeed, indeed. I've uh, I have many 3D printing mistresses, if that's the case. And um, yes, the harem of 3D printers continues to grow. I'm in process to hopefully get another six printers in the next month or two, if all, if all goes well. It's a shame I had to kind of clear this out, but it beats kind of undoing a bunch of stuff. Oh yes, I'm rather skilled. <laughs> I'm good with printers, something like that. Uh, there we go. Sometimes the selection just doesn't want to select. No. Alright, extrude. And new buy. Cool. Alright, that should fix that issue. And then let's go one more. Okay, cut, extrude. Seems good. New body. <laughs> How I handle my filament. Indeed, indeed. I'm very good with, uh, oh dang, um, I'm good with keeping bearings lubricated. Let's see, chamfer. Yay! Okay. Perfect. Indeed. Indeed. Lubrication is everything. Squirrel.
way, I think I'm going to make these guys a little bit bigger. And press ball. Actually, nope, that's a good size. Chain it. Five, five. I should have done something here, but well, that's that's a story for another day. Uh, all right. So this should have a very sharp chamfer. Yep, like that. This one is very small. Yeah, like that. Alright, I'll work with that. Yeah, like magic. It is very magical. Let's see. Do point seven five. again. Yeah, that's an itty bitty one, so I'm going to do like a 0.5. Ten numbers, one number, yeah. And I'm gonna do it at a gentler angle. It's two, three. Nope, oh, too much. One point five. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Get these guys in. Um, 0.25? Yeah. Since it's a very shallow, kind of just like 
just a little edge just to give it make it a little more interesting I wonder if it's... It's hard to tell from this angle. I think the rails go all the way. That being said, it doesn't look as good. So I'm thinking I'm going to just take some artistic license. Love that word. 2.5 millimeters. <laughs> that's true and that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of being able to work with something so like this is just going to be a handheld pistol, so it's going to be very hard to make out certain details unless you literally have your nose against it, as I metaphorically am, um, as I'm modeling this. But, uh, it's as size, I guess, uh, an OCD itch or tendency that I have. Hey Rilana, I am working on um, 3D modeling Tracer's pistols from um, the Uprising skin. Hmm, let's see, is it hard to tell? That's a very Probably even, it almost looks rounded. Sorry, text messages coming in. Didn't recognize you there for a second. Yeah, just doing the. Uh, I didn't want to open that. The commission. 
And don't worry, I'm resting. Uh, no, I don't want extra. Ah, damn it. Don't want to do that either. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to experiment with rounding the edges. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Alright, so I'm going to fill A. I'm going to do a point two five. Mm, I'm not sure if I like it being that severe. Point ten? No. Point two? Point two is good. Yeah, so it kind of just trims it up. Uh, let's see, looks like I've been streaming for t almost two hours, hour 48 minutes. Just kind of plodding along. Actually, I might mirror this to make it a lot simpler. That's all nice and crisp. All right, on. Well, now I know who to look for and who to follow after this stream. So I can watch you stream Smite, right? Yep. Come on. There we go. Blip. No. Blip. Blip. Yes. Yes. I will. Okay, so I actually should deselect these back ones and then do these first. Since they're much deeper. I think that is what I'm going to do. I hear you on figuring out life. I think you'd be a good streamer. So I totally, I totally encourage you. Like if I'm streaming and I have my personality, I don't feel like I'm the greatest in streaming. I think you could translate really well with a really good, you know, positive outgoing personality that you have. All right, so this is gonna be much steeper. Okay, so not point. I just want to do, let's try a 60. Let's try 60 degrees at point 0.5. 90? No. 80? No. 70? No. Okay. Um, let's do 40 degrees and only small fillet. That's better. Aw, oh, thanks. I try. I think I almost got all the details in. Let's, let's take a... Oh, no, I got the grippy thingies to do as well. Yeah. I got these lighty things. I gotta do the centery bit. <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do. Oh. I'm gonna work on this next. 
Blip. Do a circle. Oh, I see what happened there. Two point circle. I got it. This is fun. Um, so what I gotta do is I gotta sketch out another circle. create these shapes except it's gonna be a little bit off kilter in it so I want to do a spline but spline probably won't work so well so let's try an arc center point arc Clever, not what I want. All right, I'm gonna. I have to draw this in manually and with the spline. So, wish me luck on this. Or and spline this. All right, good. Another spline. Cool. All right, cool. Now let's move this. Correspond, and I think they do correspond here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring back the bodies. Ah, uh, okay. for this. At a steeper angle. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's a tough call. Let's do 45 again. Let's do 1.5. Works for me. Very extrude. Let's create a new body. Okay. This is going to be a fun little trick. So what I'm going to do is I create this by in order to get so there's two more of these guys. Um, I'm going to do I'm going to create pattern circular pattern. I got one body. Then I select the axis I want to do this on, and voila! I suddenly create and duplicate. And all I need to do is combine as a target by these are the tool bodies and cut and voila I'm right there of course it shouldn't be that deep so I think all I need to do oh, no I don't want to do that is just extrude and go down probably a half a millimeter that's better and the last piece is this guy join and fillet Bam. Bam, bam. Uh, blip, 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 blip. My blipping cat. Um, hmm. What else do I need to do? Alright, so I need to put in this groovy bit. This is what I'm gonna do. Put in more lines. Actually, now I'm gonna create Yep, considering it was nothing, um it's come a, a long ways. And I get to be the first one to um, to model this. So that's also some bragging rights. All right, um, I'm gonna rotate. Let's rotate to three degrees. Two degrees. Two degrees. I did it the wrong way. Silly me.
Aw, thanks. Alright, so I want to go and extrude this again a little bit more shallowly. Is that even a word? Shallowy? Uh, three millimeters? Yeah, that feels like that's good enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two corners here, fillet them. Okay. So that rounds it. How are you doing, Red, Red Cortana? So if I remember correctly, it's this is an a yeah. Well, actually, no, it's ah, oh, that's a tough one. It looks angular, but it also looks rounded. So it's, I think it's a very shallow angular cut. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do an, an, an sort of a, a sham, a very shallow, very narrow chamfer, just to give enough definition. I'm gonna say. No, that's too much. Maybe 0 0.2, 0 0.25. Things bugging me about that, but I'll go with 0.25. I'll roll with that for the sake of. Okay, so then these should be pretty generous chamfers. Yeah, this is like two millimeters. 1.52. Something's going on. Ah, good to know. Well, pleasure to make your acquaintance, Red Cortana. see what happened here. I probably want to go in at a shallower angle. No, that won't work. Dang. How about one point? Blip. Ah, right on, right on. Well, a pleasure. Let's see, uh, no, that's too shallow of an angle. I like the 45 degree. Here's what I'm going to do a 35 degree. After I get rid of this funkiness here. You're not alone in the world. But yes, cosplay is life. Be fun to get all of us together at Dragon Con or something. Or an epic cosplay something something. Okay, so that's a new body. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna combine. Actually, no. I got a better, slightly more elegant solution. Cancel. Ooh. 
There we go. Extrude. Should be able to cut my way down. Voila! There we go. Fixed. Now I should be able to chamfer. That's more like it. You guys did the J uh, blip 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 um the uh the portal cosplay yes the chell and uh the turret right i remember that that was awesome well i didn't see it in person even though i was at dragon con that year but um crimson showed me the pictures yes all right let's see Okay, so it just drops off like that. Dang, okay. Flip. See, whoa! Okay, too much, too much, too much, too much. Too much. Okay, there we go. Um, Alright, I feel like this is going to be only a millimeter at most. No? There we go. Thought. Yep, hey, and for what's worth, Jade, all my cosplay friends are now also two, three thousand miles away. Um, heck, even the ones that were with me at C2E2 all live like bleh, 60, 70 miles away, so. Far. So, blip, blip, blip. Okay, so I think. No, I'm not going to do that angle. I think that should do it. I'll be able to put in, well, I'll be able to mirror it and then put in the barrel pretty easily. And champ for that. No? Oh, I see what happened. Let's change it. Oh. I guess I'm not going to be able to do that then. Oh. Yay! Thanks for hosting me! Alright. Alright, so I feel like I should probably go back to the grip now and do the grippy bits. Cancel that chamfer. Let's 
don't feel like I fought this one through, but I think I can fix this. How do I do that wrapping? That's... Oof. The only thing I can think of is if I actually put in... That won't work, would it? Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, famous last words indeed. Um, just looking like this, this line and then these rappy bits. Like, this is the worst. Um, so, yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Hang on a second. Let me make sure this is a separate body. Yep, I think it's a separate body still. Yep. So I should be able to split it. Sketch a line. I gotta select my axes first. Alright, we got that. I'm gonna create a spline. Goes from here to here. That looks okay. Create another line. Goes to here. And then another spline. Ha! Ah, I got this. Last line. Okay, so the point of this, and then I'm going to probably just run real quick to use the bathroom and grab some food, is to split this body. So if I'm doing this right, I'm going to be able to select uh, our start split body. Select body, and then I can grab the line I just drew. Oh, oh. Not you. Oh, wait a second. What is it doing on you? Okay, ah, okay, good. And cut. Yes. See? Now I have this nice clean line that I can now do whatever I need to do with. So I'm going to do a very small, subtle, probably a quarter of a millimeter. Lots of maths, like simple maths, but maths nonetheless, and remembering numbers and CAD work. Nope, too much. I think point three would do would do me good. Yep. Okay, let's fill A again. Point three. Yes. Look at that.
Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Technically, there's a screw here, but ow, um, actually, wait a second. Nope. I'm gonna just say screw it. Literally. <laughs> Um, but these guys, see there's quite a bit of detail work I still got to do and I need to use the bathroom. Actually, it's not, oh, got it, I know how to do this. No, I don't want to do rectangle. I want to create. Should do it, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to cut. So now it looks like it's hot. Damn. This is actually starting to look good. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to... Nope, nope. Yep, yep. Oh, I see what happened. They're like, no, my sketch has disappeared. All right. There we go. Now let's bring back the bodies. That will do it. All right, it's fillet. I think filleting it. Sweet. All right, now I have to just do those little fiddly bits, but I need a bio break, so I'll be right back.
Ah, okay, back. Much better. And ready to pick up where I left off. All right, so I have just adjustment to my screen okay that's better I got this program that kind of automatically dims when after sundown but it's good when I'm not actively uh, doing modeling so what do I need what's missing what's missing I got that in there I think I need to model in these little fiddly bits so what do I want to model First, actually, I should model this in. So this, and the bodies. Okay, that's body one. I'm going to change the opacity to 90% so I can see what's underneath. Cool. Sketch it online. Here. Sketch it online. There. Cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, this is basically Photoshop, but for 3D. So it's pretty cool, pretty dead simple to use. Let's see. Um, I mean, I don't... I'm not a huge fan of opacity all the time, so I only turn it on for like specific points, but um, eh, it works. Okay, I wish I didn't have this chamfer here. Dang. Um, okay, I'm going to do this instead. Stop that sketch. I'm going to hide the bodies. Start from the ground up and then cover. There we go. <clears throat> Second, I'm checking. Ah, there's a tracking number. Okay. Um, Sorry, just taking a second to handle a quick email. Work never stops.
links. Sorry, I just got distracted by emails for a second. Back at it. Yes, I have a live stream. All right, I'm back on it. Um, I'll take this. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna extrude. Let's see the bodies again. Cut first. Then bring back the opacity to 100%. I mean, I'm sure there's a much more elegant way of doing this, but I don't know it. So, I'm doing it this way. 4.5? Yeah, 4.5. Sake and 3D praying. This sounds really promising. I need to do this. I need to do this. Of course my modeling is probably going to go and get a little bit wonky. Okay, so there's that. What else? Ooh, that's a lot of bodies. I hide the bodies. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to move the stream to somewhere not Twitch if I'm going to be taking off clothing. appreciate all the same <laughs> but I'm gonna get banned from twitch and I want to I want to be in the, the twitch cosplay contest at their con Meow. Fair enough, private sake. I 
can get behind this with you and Jade. Just not on Twitch, right? Uh, blip, 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 blip. Did I just invite you, Jade? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yep, I'll do that. Uh, you both are hilarious enablers because you know I probably would be down for such a thing. Now, question, am I stripping out of cosplay? Oh my. You y'all do realize I'm a um I'm a heavyweight. I can drink I can drink a fair amount. So it might be a while before I get to that point where I lose my sense. Ooh, damn. Now we're going places. Okay, let's see. Oh my. Alright, so it looks like I gotta do more, some more splitting. Say, can I? Let's see if I can split the body. If I split, would be. This one. Sure. Okay. My, now we're going places. Uh, okay, so I need to chamfer. No, why can't I chamfer this? Not in my fault, that's great. Yep, that's all the printers in the background. I'm at the shop right now. Hmm. Yeah, I missed out on a small thing, but I think I'll let I think I'll let it go unless a lot of people notice the issue. And again, I'm wondering. Ah, I'll just raise it. Delete it. Then I'll go. Oops. Whoa, too much. Too much.
So thank you for thinking it's awesome. Okay, that works. Well, yeah. Okay. On the chamfer. No. I told you, I'm an oversized cat. <clears throat> Perfect. That's a good chamfer. Chamfering that next. Yes, cat dad. Cat goals. across like that, no wonder. Okay. That's an easy fix. Extrude. And join. There we go. That makes a heck of a lot more sense. Now it's starting to look much tighter. Alright. Nope. Not that. Yeah, that. And that. Hmm. Mm hmm. Blip. That's whew, way better. Actually, wait, I'm not a cat dad, I'm a dad cat. <laughs> or something like that. Um, hmm. hmm. Alright, so it's just these little leppy things I need to do next. Sketch. Keep 
centering me and that's kind of annoying, but oh well, I'll live. Mm -hmm. Do that. And I'll copy these. Cool. And oh, cool. All right. Connect some lines. Redo that one again. There we go. He's connected. set of bodies. Rinse, repeat. I gotta do this fiddly bit. Another two point circle. Okay, stick that there. that circle and then I'm going to paste it. Drop another one down. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay. There we go. Straight. Okay. Should do it. the 
the bodies. Extrude. Okay, I'm going to cancel that for a second because I want them to be separate bodies. Extrude. Yeah, that's better. Okay, body. New body. Awesome possum. Oh no, I didn't want you to join. Nope. Too much. There we go. Now we got a new body. Okay. Got that. Got that. Got that. Modify, we're going to fillet. See, at this point it's all the details, which it's tedious, but boy oh does it make a difference. Hmm. these two and then these little itty bitties and these itty bitties and ah uh, okay start there hey but this is gonna be interesting because You go a decent ways down. Um, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Actually, no, that's not how I'm gonna do it. Stop sketch. Carry the bodies. Some circles. <clears throat> Itty bitty circles. Is anyone going to notice this? That's 
sorted. That sorted. That's crooked though. I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just delete you all together, delete you, and then I'm going to just copy this over. Perfect. Perfect. Well, that's... It helps a ton. Patience is patience is important. It's um, I really credit to me getting as far as I've gotten. So if you can cultivate even a fraction of what I have, um, it's so worth it. And trust me, I'm not as patient as some some of these other cosplayers I've met um, that you know have taken the. Um, like that won the crown championships um, this past weekend, like is insanely good. All right, sounds good. Have a good night, Crimson. I hear ya. Uh, I, thanks for congratulating me, or thanks for the congratulations. But seriously, like, um, the level of skill um, the, for the people who won the international and the national portions of the um, of the competition just blew me away. It's like the detail, the attention to detail, was just insane. Um, and it's something that like I'm now revisiting, figuring out how can I get to that level. So, just saying, patience. It's a patience game. Too much. Let's go down. Perfect. And I think I got a winner. Ding ding. Oh no, wait. I got a mirror on the other side. Meow. All right. This is where I combine. First, I want to double check. Yeah, everything looks good. Um, so I want to do combine two bodies. I want to join everything. Try this again. So somebody's not intersecting. Um, combine.
let's see. Now it's all one piece. Now what I can do is I can mirror. And get rid of this. <clears throat> Select the body. two halves. to seven? Yeah, seven looks good. Five. Cool. And I'm going to extrude. Mm. 
Nice, free. Perfect. I need to tilt it. So I'm going to move. On top. To 12 degrees. Yeah, 13 degrees. Same difference. <clears throat> I think I'm going to call this one a successful. Modeling gig. And I'm going to probably close out this stream. So if uh, you're still watching Jade, I'll be chatting in a, in a few. Oh, laters. <laughs>